Hi there, Faisal Carmelli here. Just uh, wanted to give you a bit of a update. And the reason why I'm going to give you an update is because I've had uh, a few people reach out to me and say, Faisal, you've gone through um, a bunch of things in your life. You, uh, you work with uh, people and their money. Um, tell me your story. Tell me what your fears are when it comes to money. So here's my story. Um, I have two beautiful children. Um, a 13 year old and let's call her almost nine uh, right now and um, I'm a single father I'm divorced and I've been divorced now for five years and so I share custody with my my ex-wife and um, they're one week with me one week with them the interesting thing about my situation and where fear comes into play and financial matters and thinking about the future what happens is um, as a father um, I've taken the role on as the provider. Um, my situation uh, might be different than many others. Um, in my situation, um, I'm fully responsible for my uh, children's uh, extracurricular activity cost or private school. Um, and I pay a very large amount of money to their mother for taking care of them. And that's a, a large commitment. On top of that, I have my own home, I, I have my own responsibilities, and I have a lifestyle that uh, I really enjoy. And so part and partial, parcel of the, uh, the pressure that comes on as being a single dad is to make sure that I not only provide for today, uh, take care of my kids when they're not even with me, um, but also have the ability to protect and provide for the future. Um, some of the things that I value, uh, one is education. I want to provide my daughters with the ability to go anywhere they choose. Now, that's my dream right now, and I want to give them every opportunity to have no doors closed because of financial means. So I've put the pressure on myself to, uh, to leave those doors open. So if they choose to go somewhere abroad, in the United States, or anywhere else. Um, I'm gonna provide that opportunity. Now there's many of you parents out there who'll say, well, they gotta put some money into it or they've gotta do things, uh, they gotta pay for it. Uh, my values or views are a little bit different. My views are different because I, th I don't think um, it's their responsibility to pay for their undergraduate degree. I think in today's world, when you're, when you're paying for a child's post-secondary education, I'm speaking of an undergraduate degree or a di diploma, um, those are table stakes now just to survive. Um, when I was younger or even when my parents were uh, my age, a high school diploma was enough and it was covered by the government. So there wasn't a, a focus on post-secondary education. I think today it's a bit different. So I have that, that, um, that viewpoint and so I put that on my, on my own plate. Um, where, do fear, where does fear come into play? Being a single father, being a father, being a, uh, a guy who has some traditional values in being the provider, being the, uh, the money maker, the breadwinner of the family, um, the fear that I have is what if I can't do it? That I'm, that I'm not allowed to fail, that I'm not allowed to um, mess up because when I screw up, there are people's lives and futures at risk. Um, and so the pressure on me, and I've put this on myself, but I believe that the pressure on me is that I can't fail. And so what I do for a living and how I, I get paid very well for what I do. I, uh, I'm fortunate enough and we work very hard for, um, for what I have. Um, but the pressure's there. So I'm going to tell you a bit about myself every morning when I wake up and I go in for my morning shower the things that I think about are the what ifs what if I can't do it what will prevent me from reaching my financial goals my lifestyle goals and when I say mine I mean mine and my girls my daughters um, and that is is a fear that I have a what if I can't do it and so I gear myself up every morning to take that fear, turn it into motivation so that um, I have to continue moving forward. And 
making the best of what I do and, and succeeding. I think that's, that's just how I'm wired. I'm, I'm wired out of coming out of fear to turn that fear into, into something that will be successful for, for me and my future. It doesn't work for everybody, but for me it, it works and it's been, it's been working very well. Um, but the fear of messing up is there. And I don't know if any of you fathers out there or single mothers out there who are 100% responsible for, for your, your and your children's future. Um, I don't know if, if you feel the same way, but that's the pressure I have. And so I don't worry about the markets or stocks or portfolios and stuff like that, that maybe my clients or, or other people worry about. I worry about um, winning the whole thing building enough for my family so that they have all the doors open for their future um, and I have all the doors open for myself in the future as well when it comes to my long-term plans um, so that fear is there and when that fear comes into play it turns into motivation but there, that also makes me react in a certain way when it comes to money when it comes to decisions that I make when it comes to everything that I do and I know that people have a lot of fear and their fear about financial security, financial stability. Um, if you don't have that, you can't have financial independence. And so I've been asked, what are my fears? And so my fear is messing up, not being able to do it. And so I ask you, what are your fears? When it comes to everything in your world, how you react and handle money is how, um, is all based upon your fears, your values, your your experiences when you were young, how you were raised, um, things that may have gone on in your life. Um, those are the things that make you react to money in that direction or that way. And so my reaction to money um, is out of fear of not being able to provide. And that's why I am more um, focused on building and creating and providing uh, for my family and that's that make that shapes my decision making process so I ask you what's your fear what do you have that uh, that you're scared about um, when it comes to your future to your family's future or whoever is important to you so I wanted to share that with you it's a little bit of an opening to who I am and, um, and I wanted to share that and kind of give you a bit of insight of myself and I would love to hear back from you What's, what's your fears? And I think if we can overcome our fears, we can have more control of our future. The more control of our future, uh, the way you look at money is different. And then your financial stability and security will turn into financial independence. And then, then life is a lot better. Okay, take care.